as we evolved we started separating things and seeing things as differently as divided things starting with i you our way their way these are my that is yours we started endless division and categorization and separation which all leads to we assuming that we are separated from everything and that way we are not seeing the whole picture of being whole of being one with the true source so the verse 39 is all about the wholeness so let's look at the way of wholeness hi welcome back to oneness today it's day 39 and we will be looking at verse 39 from tao te ching as usual let's observe few seconds of silence thank you so now let's look at verse 39 from tao te ching these things from ancient times arise from one the sky is whole and clear the earth is whole and firm the spirit is whole and strong valley is whole and full the 10000 things are whole and alive those in powers are whole and the country is upright all these are virtue of wholeness so in these lines lots of talks about how everything started from one single source as we know the source which is much beyond the big bang much before anything that is one single truth the one thing that gave birth to everything and the wholeness is an idea of instead of seeing things as a separate things and act separately how we should act in a harmonious in a single way and since he talks about sky earth spirit valley all we can sense is lots who's talking about how to act in harmony and be whole just like how the whole of cosmos it follows the gravity the gravity pulls together and keeps things in place for an example the earth is pulled by sun the whole of our solar system is again pulled within the galaxy and even the galaxy again pulled and held by the gravity and that is a nature it all has an synchrony though by itself it is many things but they are all in harmony and in sync then he goes on to talk about why we should not separate things and if by not separating things how we get the benefit of being whole so there he talks about the clarity of the sky prevents it from falling the firmness of the earth prevents it from splitting the strength of the spirit prevents it from being exhausted then he talks about fullness growth and good leadership all he says is the moment we start separating things then nothing can exist together and everything will start to disintegrate and there is nothing much to give clarity strength and the firmness so this paragraph share the whole essence of verse 39 so to give you an example he talks about the first one is just like our breath right so when you're talking about a breath just imagine as you're inhaling at this moment the air that you inhale right now it is nothing but a recycled air by the other plants and beings of this planet right just imagine though it is just we are talking about oxygen and etc but every single breath that we take that shows that we are connected in harmony with everything on this planet without them we cannot exist and that is a nature then comes to our body and yesterday i was contemplating about heart though we are talking about heart as like an you know, intuition giving love and etc even if you don't buy the idea of heart and mind and separation and etc even in a literal sense as an organ of a heart what it does we know that it pumps blood so that's the oxygen is carried to every single other organs muscles and cells and heart doesn't expect anything in return 
Likewise, every single organ in our body works independently, but with one single goal. What is the goal? To make sure our human body is healthy, right? It takes care of everything. It is automatic. We don't have to put an effort. So it keeps everything as one single whole being. That is every single individual person, you and me. And the same thing goes to our cells. The minute thing in our bodies are cells. So when you're talking about cells, the moment a cell fights and tries to not to be in harmony, that is what we call it as cancer. So likewise, the moment we go away from the harmony of the nature, then we will destroy the nature. For nature, it doesn't matter. For the cosmos, the earth is another just another dust or another stone. But for human being, for our beings, any beings on this planet, the earth is the only single place. That's why people talk about live harmoniously with nature. And that's what Lotso also means, how we should live in harmony. And then in the next paragraph, Lotso talks about being humble is a trait which brings in the wholeness. When we are humble, we no more need to separate things. Based on our ego or our identity, we don't need to say, oh, this is I, that's you, this is mine, that's yours, this is our way, this is your way. We don't classify. Instead, we need to accept things as it is. That way, we will see the wholeness in everything, every being. Though we might see from outside, everything acts separately. In true sense, we are all working in one harmonious way. And that's what Lotso means here. So with that, let's talk about one actionable thought. So the actionable thought for today is, see everything as a reflection of yourself. When I say reflection of yourself, just see, it's just nothing but an extension of you. There is no actual separate between them and this. It can be this wall or a camera or me. These are all made up of autumn. And then try to somehow like, you know, you can connect with them. So to give you an example, when I used to go for long drives, I used to endlessly talk to my car. Literally, I talk to my car. I just tell them, I just tell my car, thank you all the time. I touch it, feel it and be grateful for its being there. And also in the past, I have experienced that. Once one of my car, I f said like, you know, this is an old car. I want to dispose it and etc. And the very day the car broke down. And it never broke down in the entire history of I was having that car. But then the day I said I need to dispose it, the car broke down. So somehow I find whether it is a living things or non-living things, everything has an energy or the vibration that connects us all. So that way, the actionable thought is try to connect yourself with the things around you. See them as a reflection, an extension of yourself. And then no more saying that this is not my job. As a being, it is our duty, our responsibility to keep things as whole. No more, it is not my job. Someone else did it, let them take care of it. No, it is our individual task. Whenever we come across something which is not right, we can pitch in, in harmony and make it whole again. And that is a way of living in the way of wholeness. With that, we come to the end of day 39 and talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.